for the Soyuz TMA-18 uh, members of uh, the media who are down at the landing site uh, interviewing uh, cosmonaut Valery Korzun, a former commander of the International Space Station. Behind him, uh, the uh, descent module of the uh, Soyuz uh, TMA-18 that brought home Alexander Skvortsov, Tracy Caldwell Dyson, and Mikhail Kornienko to a pinpoint landing uh, in north-central Kazakhstan at 12.23 a.m. Central Time. As uh, we uh, started to mention a moment ago, uh, the crew uh, is in uh, the inflatable medical tent. Uh, they're uh, doffing their launch and entry suits uh, for more comfortable clothing and an opportunity uh, to receive uh, initial medical checkups as well as an opportunity to uh, begin an acclimation to a gravity environment for the first time in almost a half year. About 45 minutes or so from now, the crew uh, will be brought uh, to uh, three uh, helicopters. Each uh, crew member will board uh, one of those helicopters for about an hour and 45 minute flight back to uh, the city of Karaganda in uh, eastern Kazakhstan, uh, where they will uh, receive a um, traditional Kazakh welcoming ceremony, followed uh, by uh, the boarding of uh, both NASA and uh, Gagarin Cosmonaut Training Center aircraft uh, for the flights uh, respectively back to Houston, uh, in the case of Tracy Caldwell Dyson, and uh, for the two Russian crew members, uh, Skvortsov and Kornienko, the flight back uh, to Chikalovsky Airfield outside of Star City, Russia. search and recovery uh, personnel and of uh, the landing of the uh, Soyuz uh, TMA-18 is taken from uh, one of the helicopters as part of the search and recovery forces. As uh, the Soyuz uh, descends uh, to the uh, ground, uh, you should see the firing of the soft landing engines, very visible uh, here from uh, one of the uh, forward uh, search and recovery helicopters uh, that hovered nearby uh, the final uh, descent path uh, for the Soyuz to its touchdown point. And there was the firing of the uh, soft landing engines. This is a uh, replay, uh, a video captured on board uh, that search and recovery helicopter, one of the first down on the ground uh, to attend uh, to uh, the crew uh, on board the Soyuz TMA-18.
again, you're watching uh, a video replay from a uh, video captured uh, from one of the search and recovery helicopters of the landing of the Soyuz TMA-18 spacecraft that occurred less than an hour ago, about uh, 35 kilometers uh, to the south of the town of Arkalik. camera operators uh, out of the uh, helicopter that they flew to the landing site uh, capturing uh, the touchdown of the Soyuz spacecraft. Now approaching uh, the Soyuz uh, to begin the process of uh, documenting the condition of the uh, descent module as well as uh, the start of the process to extract the crew and as you can see the Soyuz landed virtually uh, perpendicular upright position that uh, facilitated the extraction of the crew a short time ago. You can see uh, very clearly uh, one of the Russian Mi-8 helicopters uh, carrying search and recovery personnel uh, about to land uh, in the uh, neighborhood of the uh, Soyuz TMA-18. Inside there uh, was uh, Alexander Skvortsov, Tracy Caldwell-Dyson, and Mikhail Kornienko. Again, uh, you're watching a video that was uh, recorded uh, at the time of the uh, landing of the uh, Expedition 24 crew in their Soyuz TMA-18 spacecraft, a landing occurring uh, almost an hour ago at 12.23 uh, uh, a.m. Central Time. 
A very quick uh, process uh, to extract uh, the three crew members out of the top hatch of the Soyuz. As you can see, it landed a bit canted, uh, but essentially upright. evening. Two and a half hours later, uh, they fired uh, the Soyuz engines and the deorbit burn maneuver to begin their descent back to Earth. Touchdown occurring uh, almost right on the mark uh, set uh, by the uh, 